Hello, welcome to the second devlog of my vehicle builder game, Mechanical Lab. I'm Chris, a game developer from Poland and today I would like to show you the core of the fun, the vehicle editor in details. Every new construction starts here, in the vehicle editor built in the center of the city, on the top of the roofs. This is where the game allows you to build, modify and personalize many useful machines. Player can store multiple vehicle blueprints. Each vehicle slot allows you to quickly view the types of parts used, all materials and statistics. We start construction from the fundamental parts module. On the right side, you can see the available parts to build. In this module, you can find blocks required to the basic operation of the vehicle, such as control stations, engines, cooling or tracks. It's easy to notice that each part has a certain construction cost expressed in collectible materials. In addition, you can view many useful parameters here, such as durability, energy consumption or possible logic cable connections. The control station I just built is the most important part in the machine. It allows the robot to connect to vehicle. This is where the logic of many mechanism begins. Map buttons on the keyboard, mouse or pad correspond to plugins and allow further connections to the other parts. By pressing a specific button, the player sends a signal via a connected cable to the appropriate socket on the next part of the vehicle, triggering specific actions. Various type of signal can be directed further, allowing for many possible behaviors depending only on the connection strategy. Continuing to build, another important part in the vehicle is engine, in this case electric, but there is nothing stopping you from using other type. Moving on to the details of the build part, player can personalize many visual aspects such as covers, glass, frames and of course color. Specific technical parameters of the part itself are also available and many of them can be changed later even while driving. Then, many parts require proper cooling. This prevents excessive overheating, which may result in the loss of efficiency or even destruction. The side joining function on the fundamental parts allows cooling to be built really close to the engine. If someone likes to monitor the condition of the vehicle on an ongoing basis, indicators such as these two small clocks may be useful. Every vehicle needs energy to work, let's take advantage of the fact that it's very rainy in our city and install a simple hydroelectric power plant. This will generate a certain amount of energy that can be used. I finished building the fundamental parts with the installation of the large trucks. This will enable the vehicle to move. For this example I will quickly connect all the parts with the rigid base pipes and move on to connecting the logical cables. In this module, we have a better overview of all vehicle plugs and sockets. For convenience, compatible connections are the same colors. I connect the control plug from the control station to the engine socket. This will enable you to control the engine. I connect the engine to the tracks. This will allow the engine power to be transferred to the tracks. I connect cooling to the engine. This will protect our engine from overheating. All that remains is to change the color of the vehicle to any of the currently available teams and it's time to go. After entering the vehicle, 
to gain access to our window previewing the work of the all components. This is where we can view the condition, temperature and energy consumption. We can even change many parameters to optimize the vehicle. It is clearly visible that we have a significant surplus of energy production. Let's try to use it by increasing the engine power. Unfortunately, the new value was exaggerated and the vehicle shut down. We don't produce that much energy. Instead, let's first reduce the cooling fan speed and see what will happen. We reduce overall power consumption, but it's clearly visible that the engine began to heat up, making movement completely impossible. The values are entered were of course very extreme to best show the system in the vehicle. By taking a moment you can improve the performance of the vehicle without replacing components. However sometimes it is worth investing in a better engine, cooling, wheels or weapons to unlock not only better performance, but also a wider range of work adjustments. Thanks for watching the first episode dedicated entirely to the vehicle editor. In the next episode I will try to present further editor modules such as pipes and rotating parts. Thank you all for your feedback and see you next time.